Okay, hello guys. Um, it's Bianca, and I have been wanting to film on some of my binders, um, specifically my Luna binders. So everything that you see um, here, these are my five moon binders. Um, I have some other ones for like larger items and um, freebies that I keep in kind of a standard three ring, but these are um, mostly uh, the types of binders that like you can't take the pages in and out, so they're, they have no rings in them. Uh, a long time ago I had um, some damage on some of my cards from ring binders, so I kind of just chose to stay away. <clears throat> and um, I kind of, um, started delving more into these like side loaders um and then eventually 12 pockets and then my newest binders are these gem loaders i believe they're from uh, somewhere in europe <clears throat> um so this uh website sells products that they designed and used themselves um i really um like these binders they are top loader binders so um, my more um, prized possessions are in these. Um, I was just really afraid of warping and bending, um, you know, in these standard binders, which I do keep some valuable cards in here, but the ones that I really want to keep intact for as long as I possibly can are in these top loader binders. So, um, of course, I do really like my uh, Game Genic binders as well. These are all game genic and then these are gem loader um so uh i guess i don't know where to start currently my favorite binder is this blue one um it has all of the more recent photo cards in the past um year or so starting with flip that and hula hoop and then my red binder has some um, miscellaneous sets in the past year, I did cut down on a lot of my collection. I kind of sold off um, photo cards that I wasn't fully attached to and I knew they would go uh, to a better home, more appreciated. So I did cut down on a lot of photo cards, even of my biases. So um, it was pretty freeing. It was some of the older sets of the, um, like some meeting up cards, season's greetings cards, and things like that. I just wasn't all attached to. I did keep my favorites. I do have photo cards from each set, so um, it does vary. Um, I guess uh, we could start with these and then we'll move on to the top loader binders. Um, I kind of just want to flip through, kind of um, make... Uh, little bit of a timeline for myself that I can reflect on you know because I do change up these binders sometimes I'll reorganize them a little bit the biggest reorganization I did was probably about um, a couple months ago maybe two three months ago um, with everything that's been going on right now it's um, March like mid-March 2023 um, and the, uh, limbo Luna situation just really, I think has been taking a toll on orbits as a consensus. So, um, I really wasn't looking at my collection for a good chunk of December and November, um, January. And then finally, like in the past couple of months, I've started to, um, you know, play with my collection a bit, move them around and, um, it's almost to a point where um, I uh, I have cards that I need to sell, but I just haven't gotten around to it because selling and trading just isn't as fun to me these days. Like I know I have stuff that has value that could probably find a home quickly. I just haven't gotten around to it. I think um, I'm just really trying to minimize my time online with everything going on. So. If anything, I just keep it to the fun stuff. And for me, selling is not fun. <laughs> I guess there is an income of money that is fun. But um, for me, it's almost like if I sell stuff, I immediately feel like, 
oh, well, I can buy something with that money instead of putting it away to replace what I've spent. So, yeah. Um, let's see. I'm going to kind of put this to the side. I don't want to knock it over, though. Um, I hope it's okay that I am um, talking quite a bit. I uh, was talking with Liz, my friend, and she does similar videos. Um, I always find inspiration from her collection. And then my other friend, Julie, as well. Um, they are also on YouTube. I don't know their exact YouTube handles. It may vary. Um, but shout out. And um, they'll probably watch this. <laughs> Because I'll definitely link them when it's done. Um, it's just uh, something we bond over. So um, this is uh, this is a favorite binder of mine. This was my first Game Genic binder. Um, it's gotten a little dirty over the uh, over the years um, since I started using it heavily, um, and several types of collections have gone through these pages. So um, this uh, I kind of just decided to start organizing my binders how I want. I hope there's not too much glare right now with the um, with the sun. Um, but this Eve set from Midnight, it's the uh, pre-order benefit set. This was, this is such a coveted set of mine, especially because there's cards in here that you just never see go up for sale. So um, shout out to Liz. She helped me score a couple of these and then um, some of them I did have to splurge on just to get them because um, they were so hard to find. But I also use, um, let me just show y'all what kind of sleeves I swear by. So these are Dragon Shield Clear Classic. Um, Liz got me onto these. Let me just make sure it didn't shift too much. Oh, okay. I kicked my camera. I'm sorry guys. <clears throat> so Liz got me onto these and I just really love them because they're stiff and it makes me feel more uh, confident about um, the material that's basically supporting these cards um, from bending and um, it keeps the pages nice and stiff too. So um, I have a few sets of completed pre-order benefits from Midnight Era. At that time, I... Um, <clears throat> wasn't collecting pre-order benefits. I was just collecting album cards and then older eras. Uh, this was back in 20, 2021. I didn't, I, I didn't start heavily collecting until early 2021, late 2020. And um, so I really didn't get a hold of these until much later because um, I just wasn't fully invested in um, <clears throat> basically uh, collecting pre-order benefits. I just saw them as, uh, you know, extra cards, which they are. Um, not everyone collects these, but, um, I, um, set out to complete, this was my first pre-order benefit, um, set that I completed for Midnight Era was Olivia's, uh, because I got her Polaroid from that era, and I just, uh, absolutely adored, um, how she was, uh, putting herself out there in such a way. And um, I thought she was just full of confidence. I loved it. Um, so I wanted to get the pre-order benefit set to match. And then of course, Chu. Um, I mean, I just adore her. So um, I had to uh, have this set too. Once I completed the set, I actually did not realize that she was making the same face in every selfie. Um, only until I had all the cards that I fully realized that, but cute. These are some other midnight pre-order benefit cards. Um, I've started to work on it a little bit more. I don't think that I have goals to actually complete for each member. I kind of just want to collect my favorites. Like I really adore Heejin. Um, there's a couple cards that I'm looking for still that I haven't been able to score because they're just so rare. Um, and I feel like when it comes to some of these cards, people don't sell them often because not everyone was collecting at that time either. And of course, it's almost like if you find a good card, most people, they don't want to sell it. <clears throat> That's what I've come to find out. This is um, my newest edition, this Go On Photo card. I've been on the search for, for probably the past year. Finally got her, probably spent a little bit more than I should have, but it's okay. Um, it was about 20-ish dollars. 
um, Kim Lip and Jin Soul, of course. Um, Kim Lip is my bias, I would say. I mean, I'm OT12, but I do focus on Kim Lip, although I haven't finished her Midnight Pre-Order Benefit set. I just, um, I don't feel too heavily about it either way, so, um, forgive me. And then this Jin Soul photo card, of course, I just had to have it with her little, her little, uh, flower tattoos. Um, sometimes I mix and match my sets. So this is like Orbit 2.0. Um, is that right? Orbit 2.0? Or was this a season's greetings? Yeah, this was an Orbit, um, kit. Maybe it was Orbit 1.0. Sorry, I'm just not as her rehearsed these days. Um, I found these cards so cute. This, this is from one of the Orbit kits, the Orbit membership kits. And then these are, uh, actually, are these Orbit as well? Yeah, so this must be, so did I join for 4.0? Is that possible? Sorry, I'm all tripped up. Anyway, these are all from Orbit Kits. And then um, the one where I did actually finally get my membership, I have in a different binder because um, I have the full set of 12. So these are more um, sets where they're in nines or uh, miscellaneous um, cards, like mismatch. I don't have the full sets. And I felt like putting it in a nine pocket binder really helped me feel like it was complete how I wanted it to be. If I decided to finish a set, I would move it to a different binder. But having it on a nine pocket page just makes it feel more complete for me. And I don't feel like I'm having having to complete it because I mean it's just all for fun right um I actually realized that I only had nine cards from each hash album version so I just decided to throw it in here um I am missing I actually don't have any VV cards and then I don't have any cherry cards so um one day I do hope to have those but then I'll have to migrate these sets elsewhere um until then they look good to me right now I did feel like this needed to be paired with the Hash Showcase set, um, and they actually flow really well on these pages, so um, I thought it would look good. I had some uh, random cards. This is a, a fan-made card that I made. Um, I did have some, some, these are Apple Music, uh, pre-order benefits from and era, Paint the Town era, um, that I just thought I could throw in next to here and it would match it because it's just the similar dark styles. And then of course these were from the, um, I think it was My Music Taste. Oh, it doesn't even say. But, um, this was kind of when, like, they hadn't fully delved into pre-order benefits yet in early 2020. Um, so that's why they look the way they do. I don't have too many of these and I find them to be quite pricey, um, for what they are. And I feel like, um, the borders just aren't the most appealing thing to me. So I don't hunt too hard for those. I think I got her in a group order and, um... It was just to, to have her. So um, next comes Midnight. I kind of um, put this in here because my photo cards are not complete. And I felt like the, the pages would look full um, if I had it in a 9 pocket versus a 12 pocket. So I kind of just tried to make it appear as full as possible, leaving a space or two on each page in case I decide to um, complete the sets. So yeah, these Heejin cards are so lovely. And I think um, I have these almost complete. So it's like two missing one, two missing one, two missing one, and then three from version C. I wonder why I put that there. Uh, version C, I would say I have the most complete. I just found the cards to be so cute. Um, I really love the styling of that version. I know it got a lot of hate because of like Photoshop um, bogus stuff, but, um, I really liked it. So I found it to be really fun. This is actually my favorite Kim Lip card. I think it's just so adorable. And I love that it's a, um, perspective photo. It's not a selfie, I guess. What would you call that? Second person, second person photo. These are really cute cards, the Jinsoul cards. 
also this set too. And cherry. Cherry, cherry. I wish I had more Eve cards from this. I just don't hunt too hard for them. Um, and then I really don't have too many Chew cards either uh, from this era. That's okay. I have the pre-order benefits. Oh, and then I did have most of Olivia's. Um, these golden cards are so cute with her little, her blue hair. Um, I'm missing version A. I don't know how that happened. I have no idea. I wasn't avoiding it, but it just didn't happen. And then this is, um, and era. I guess Paint the Town era, PTT. Um, again, these album cards I did not complete and I wanted to it to look more full, so I put it in here. I kind of try to, um put cards that I want to appreciate in every binder so I don't neglect a binder. Um, I try to spread out the joy. And um, I really love um, these Kimlet photo cards. I think she did so well with these. And um, I did complete this set. It just looks a little funny because it's in a nine pocket, but we can live with it. I also did complete um, Choose Set. And I had these full uh, version sets for Eve, so I like these pages. And then I think these were some extra pre-order benefit cards that I had, these two right here, um, that I just didn't want to look so lonely, so I threw it in with this. So that is my first nine pocket. Let's see. This binder is a 12 pocket. This was my third uh, Game Genic binder that I, I'm sorry, fourth. I actually have another black one, but I gave it to my, um, my, uh, my boo and he loves it. So uh, I really just uh, adore how this set looks with um, the, uh, the red. It's like a, it's like a satin, no, not satin velvety. Kind of feel to it um i think it just looks so beautiful with the black and white contrast these are my um concert uh photo cards me and my boo um he pulled uh hejin he pulled hejin and i pulled olivia hay and i kind of just told myself you know what um whatever card i pull i'm gonna keep um no matter what member it was uh, i know there were after the concert, I remember a lot of people were, you know, shouting out member names and trying to find a trade on the spot, which was kind of cool. I'd never seen such a thing happen to uh, see trading like that in real life, real time. That was, uh, that was different. But yeah, I just didn't find it to be um, worth it. I felt like um, if there's a certain member signed I want, I'll get it. And then these were just meaningful, uh, you know, luck of the draw pulls. I kind of flipped the order so it didn't look exactly the same so I went like backwards so here's Heejin, Eve, Chew. <clears throat> I wish um I wish Chu was in this set it's really sad but um I found these to be good placeholders instead I really love these season's greetings photo cards um I thought they the girls were just brimming with confidence and um it hasn't always been like that through the years like I find some photo cards to be very um they look almost kind of sad sometimes I don't know what was going on behind the scenes but you can just really tell they were having fun this day um at least I hope they were it's just what um I read off of it and um some of these looks I just really adore and really really pretty cards really pretty cards and um some full sets of pre-order benefits from paint the town era uh, i just have in full so again i kind of try to keep the 12 pockets for more complete sets uh, so the pages look full um you'll see that some of my sets aren't fully complete uh, these are though <clears throat> i kind of just really was going all out this era i think i was just so excited to be able to have 12 member cards again because um, Hustle had returned and it was um, 
It was just so awesome. I was really happy for the girls and I think 2021 was just uh, a new beginning and uh, 2022 was even crazier for them with Queendom and uh, the World Tour, another 12 album, OT12 album with Flip That. And um, I think um, things were just on the upswing for them right now in these photo cards. This is a um, Hulu Hoop pre-order benefit. This was for a fan sign um, like couple months after it was kind of unexpected that they had this fan sign but um, I went ahead and got the uh, OT12 because I like the um, I'm not always searching out these holographic type cards they're kind of pretty they're not totally my style but I do like the they started to cut the edges so it didn't look like a square piece of paper it looked like a photo card these photo cards are super cute. I just find them to be so dark. Like, why did they not lighten these up a little bit more? Um, I mean, just look at the, it's like a comparison. I find them to be so cute. I just don't look at this set a lot because I just find it to be so dark. Some photo card sets, I think, um, are just being designed by, you know, an individual and everybody has their different preferences on how it should look. <clears throat> This was um, another set that I have completed pre-order benefits. This was for a concert, the live stream concert. I didn't, um, I think I bought just the live stream and then I had to hunt down these cards later. These um, cards, I took out some of the placeholders. I should put them back in, it's okay though. Um, this was from a online streaming that they did again. And these were the photo cards. I can't remember, did they, were they doing an in-person concert for this or was it all live stream? I can't remember. Um, for these, I did like the four across because um, it was four cards per member. And um, it's kind of different how I did the layout compared to other ones. Um, but because of the four cards, um, this is how I chose to do it just so it looked more... Um, flowy and I love that um the pages fill up in such a way like this is the last page of this set so um these are meet up cards that were my favorite from the set that I decided to keep um I just really love some of Olivia's selfies go ons Jin Souls are just so cute and then of course Hyunjin um I didn't keep the other members I decided to sell those and um no regrets it's okay um, some more Seasons Greetings. This was Seasons Greetings for 20, what does it say? Uh, 2021. And this was my first Luna Seasons Greetings that I bought as it was coming out. Um, I sold off some of these sets. Uh, I just kept the cutest ones that I found the cutest. Um, they just take up a really uh, large amount of space. Same for the Meetin' Up. Um, I think Meetin' Up was, how many cards per member? Five? And then these were also five. So they just take up a lot of space, especially when there's 12 members. I mean, that's 60 cards, right? 12 times five, 60. Um, so that's just a lot of binder space. And I felt like I wasn't appreciating them as much because um, they were taking up so much space. Uh, and a lot of, sometimes the selfies are very similar to one another. So that's just how it goes. This is 2020s Seasons Greetings. Let's see. Oh, the first Seasons Greetings or whatever that means. Um, these cards I found really cute. I kind of just bought the sets, um, as they came and, um, like the Yojin set came as five. So each of them come as five. Um, these cards were impossible to find. I had my friend Liz, uh, hunt this set down for me. I think she had an extra one that she was selling when I decided to get it. Um, it's because of these cards, I swear to God that this set is really hard to find for Hyunjin. <clears throat> and then of course, go on super cute card with her cup. And I love this too. Um, these are some pre-order benefits that I have incomplete. And then some Kim Lippies, like not friends. I actually ended up deciding to sell off my not friends collection. Um, I just had some weird feelings towards like the whole collaboration with Ryan June. I think that's how you pronounce his name. Um, I just find him to be really creepy. Uh, that's 
I don't want to force that opinion on anyone else, but um, I just didn't have good vibes about it. And I felt like um, I just didn't want to keep those cards. So um, I kept this one Kim Lip card because I really liked it. Um, but the rest of it I sold or I just have waiting to be sold. Uh, this Kim Lip. And then I ended up actually selling these sets, the On Wave um, sets. I ended up selling. I just found them to be kind of plain. Um, and I just kept Kim Lips because I thought it was really cute. I actually sh sold my random um, VVIP card. It was Kim Lips that I pulled. Um, I just always had bad feelings towards it because the package that I opened, it was damaged and the card was like completely bent like this. And it just made me have some bitter feelings towards it. And they sent me a replacement because I sent photos. I ended up selling the replacement because I was like, well, I'm not going to sell my busted one. But I actually did end up selling my busted one like a year later. So it's okay. I really wasn't attached to that card and I just never was able to flatten it. I mean, I had it between textbooks for weeks, top loaders. I had all kinds of weight trying to flatten it and it just never did so I just was never satisfied um, it actually got stuck in a display that I had one time because it just the curve of it made it difficult to come out and um, made me pretty frustrated this was um for the orbit kit oh no, this was Luna Island I'm so sorry um these these cards are okay um, I ended up not buying last year's Luna Island package because I just was a little bit disappointed um, with what they put out in these. I feel like I'm just not totally attached. Like, I don't even know if I'll keep these sets. I decided not to because um, they're they're cute, but um, I'm just not totally attached to them. Like the the frame uh, cards, I just they're just not my favorite um, style. I think that's it for this binder. I know I have a lot of opinions about my photo cards. I hope it doesn't offend anyone that's watching and has different opinions. Um, please, please form your own opinions. Like you don't have to agree with me. It's totally okay. <laughs> please know that. Um, so this is my favorite binder right now because until recently, it's where I was putting all of last year's uh, cards, newer cards, and I felt like um, the girls were having such a fun time and it was really showing through um, everything they were putting out. And I am not collecting the stuff post boycott. Um, there were some things that were ordered before the news came out that I do have, but everything post boycott, I am currently not going to be collecting. Um, and I don't plan on changing my mind about that because um, it just doesn't feel right. I think um, there's some recent news that some of the girls have signed to a different label. Um, I'm trying not to think about it too much because it's honestly like such limbo. Like what's going to happen to the other girls? And um, I don't know. I just I just hope that everything can work itself out and the girls can be doing and living their dreams again because um, the last few months have just ripped that away. And um, I feel like a lot of people have lost hope as a result. It's just kind of frustrating. Um, I don't mean to like dwell on these kind of topics, but it's just very relevant, um, especially for such a big fan like me. Um, it, it, it is something that I think about very often and I try not to let it affect me too much. Uh, it's kind of hard to avoid, but um, it is what it is. The girls are alive and um, they would want us to be taking care of ourselves. I know that because that's what we want for them, you know. Um, so I really, um, these cards became very uh, much a commodity, like a common uh, photo card. To come across because um, a lot of people bought in bulk for all the pre-order benefits and because there were so many fan signs that were done and these cards I think how many would come per album three or was it one I think three and then it was only one set <clears throat> so um these cards were easy to come across some of them were I had to track down a little bit but um 
mostly very common at the end of it. And I just find it to be a pretty set um, with these um, basically like full body style or second person view uh, photos. Um, it was finally something different for the album since uh, XX for uh, Butterfly era. And um, so yeah. Um, I kind of snuck Hula Hoop in here, the album, the member uh, albums, and then the album cards, um, because I just find these cards to be so cute. And um, I really love this era. I think they were having a lot of fun with it. It was OT12. I mean, all the members were involved with this. And um, I just thought it looked so cute on the, the blue uh, binder color. So I did um, finish these photo cards. Oh my God, yay. Good job, good job, because I literally was like on a mission. I was just telling myself over and over, slow and steady wins the race, slow and steady. <laughs> and it wasn't like I was buying a million albums to um, have pre-order benefits. I really didn't focus too hard on pre-order benefits. I was just like, you know what? The styling for these is so cute that I can stick to album photo cards and be happy. Um, and, and the truth is it, it's really um, such a beautiful, uh, set that I own and um, I'm very happy to have each member's cards for this uh, era for the albums like they all just look so happy it's very bright some of the album photo cards in the past have been just really dark I'm talking about like and and hash um, 12 was a little bit brighter but because of some of the versions they have but some of the album photo cards just have been so dark and it's like I feel like the darker the photo card the more unappealing for me I just like when they're bright and you can actually see what the photo is um, and you're not squinting too hard um, that's just my opinion though this um, honestly I was blessed to get the way that I did um, I was buying some photo cards in a group order and this group order manager happened to have a lot of album photo cards left over because we were ordering pre-order benefit cards. So album photo cards were included. Um, she came to me and asked me, you know, what cards I needed. And I gave her a list of what I needed and she happened to have this coffee e, And she was extremely fair and I actually got her for $3, y'all. Um, that is probably like one of the best deals I've ever gotten on a rare card. This is not a rare card. It's just highly sought after. And the people that own her don't want to give her up. I know there are some people that have like an abundance of this card because they didn't do good album shuffling. And um, so a lot of people got like repeats and things like that. So several people got repeats of this card. And I think some people just didn't even want to give her up. So <clears throat> good on you, Soo Young on you super cute card also this two claw card super cute love it love it i'm so lucky to have that card also really like this go on card and olivia just looks so cute i really like her choker i believe jinsoul has a similar one um that she's wearing but it's pink it says luna so um oh yes i do have some uh pre-order benefit sets um I basically held back to buy sets um, until later on just to kind of get a pr preview of what was being released because I feel like in the past I've bought some pre-order benefit sets having no idea what they're going to look like and then I'm just like not totally about it. So I kind of just held back. This was a super cute set. You know, this, this version just so pretty and then with the holographic style it just makes it pop. Super cute set. This is also an adorable set. I really like this set. I kind of spent, um, I spent a decent amount of money on it, but basically like these cards were hard to find, especially this Kim Lip. She's the reason why I was searching for this set. And then overall, just super cute. They're wearing their stage outfits for um, their performances. So love that for them. These are some pre-order benefit cards that I've collected here and there. These are not full sets, um, but I really just wanted to keep the girlies together with their era in this binder. So I hope that's okay. Um, some of these 
uh, like these girls uh, are kind of hard to find. They were from Orbit Japan. They were some sort of pre-order benefit. They're actually like matte, super thin and flimsy, very delicate cards. I honestly should probably put this like double sleeved or something, but I just haven't taken the time. Um, I really love this Hyunjin card. I think it's just so stunning. And I bought this Hustle DMC pre-order benefit because it looks almost identical to her broadcast. And I really wanted her broadcast, but I wasn't ready to spend over $100 for that. But I did for Kim Lip. So this is just her DMC pre-order benefit. Um, the angle of their selfies are slightly different. Hustle's is the most similar, though, to her broadcast. Also had to get this pre-order benefit card. It was kind of hard to find. Uh, I did overspend a little bit for her, but I just really wanted... Um, the matching card to her other adorable photo cards. So um, super cute, super cute. I love that she's like not afraid to do these kinds of poses. Love that for her. These are luminous photo cards. Um, kind of was a witch hunt because I felt like not everyone was um, invested in this era simply because Chu was absent. I don't know, that's just my observation. Um, so these cards were hard to find. I ended up buying an abundance of albums just to get cards to trade and um, add to my collection. So um, the thing with Luminous versus Hula Hoop, Luminous um, distributed different photo cards for regular and then limited. Um, and when it was in Hula Hoop era, they distributed the same cards for two different versions. So this was a little bit more difficult. I know that not everyone um, has completed these sets because it just has been so difficult. Um, but shout out to Liz. We were able to use um, proxy services uh, from Japan. And then um, I got a bunch of photo cards from that. Like she was really hard to find. Like I honestly couldn't even find a listing for her um, until much searching love this photo card i think this just like so beautiful her hair color with the yellow background is just so beautiful i also love the um pre-order benefit postcards they had for her um i think there's a pre-order benefit from tower records um that i want but i'm not on a hunt for that at all so um i did um put the group cards where chu would be because you know ride or dies Eventually, I do want another group card. I know it's a hard card to find, though, so I just really haven't pushed for it. I know a lot of people are searching for this card or paying an obscene amount of money, so I'm just not pushing for it. Like Maybe one day I'll just photocopy it and put it in. Love this photo card for her. So pretty. So pretty. Also, um... Uh... This was a difficult card to find. I think it's one of Yojin's prettiest. I just love her look, her nails, her jewelry. So cute. So cute. <clears throat> also super cute card. Super cute. So then um, the next several pages kind of get like, like a mix match. Um, these are some of the jumper photo cards. Honestly, I'm having trouble keeping track of what I'm supposed to be collecting <laughs> when it comes to these because there was like apology photo cards, regular photo cards, a second round of photo cards because they decided to re-release and then winner photo cards. So I guess there's four kinds. Damn. Um, but I, um, I'm not pushing too hard for them. I don't know. It's like a, honestly, these photo cards just make me feel kind of sad. Um, because they had to take these photos when shit was going down in November, December. And um, I don't know, I feel like you can kind of see it on their faces, but. Um, some of these cards, I have this one in a top loader, a uh, Hustle's uh, other one. And these were from Eidelstein, those perfume photo cards. It was like an air freshener photo card or something like that. Eve's scent is really good. Hustles compared to Eve's. I thought I liked Hustles because she was the first one that I got the scent. Um, it's like a evergreen kind of smell. Um, I thought it was pretty, but then when I finally smelled Eve's, I was like, wow, really love Eve's. It's like a, I don't know, it, it just smells like burgundy. I have no idea what that means, but it's just 
very smooth, kind of warm smell. <clears throat> I, I really don't know terminology when it comes to scents too well. But um, these are some extra cards that I have that I'll eventually sell. Maybe not. I haven't decided. Um, I do have like, I did pull four birthday girl hustles. Um, thank God, because she was honestly the card I was waiting to search for before my cards arrived. And then I ended up pulling four and I was like, well, fuck, I, um, I didn't have to worry about it. Sorry. <laughs> um, some extra Kim Lip cards I got because it's Kim Lip. Finished this set almost right away. Um, I actually opened my cards at Liz's place and um, she had a couple trades for me. I really didn't need too many trades though. So that was kind of amazing. Um, people were kind of struggling with the um, shuffling of uh, these photo cards. And I love that um, a lot of these photo cards were taken on tour. So I really feel like attached to some of these like um, you know, these are the memories that the girls were forming um, as they were on embarking on their first world tour. So love that so much for them. Really do. I think um, I, I, I just really hope that um, it was everything they could have imagined and more because um, for fans, I think it was just absolutely incredible um, to uh, experience. For me, um, I saw them in Louisville and that was the only show I went to. Uh, they opened tour dates later in locations closer to me, but I had already invested money in plane ticket, hotel ticket, whatever you want to call it. Um, and I was already committed, so that's okay. <clears throat> and um, some of these, which one? This one's a freebie. Um, I thought it just looked really cute there. I really love these cards. I really love this card. Super cute. These are my besties. Some of these um, photo cards. I actually have two of these photo cards. I did not intend for that to happen. And I don't even know if someone will give me um, a trade for her. But I haven't tried. So uh, when, this, when these um, merchandise came out and were released... I um, was not pushing for it at all. I just felt like it was kind of ridiculous. Um, like Blockberry was just milking the teat. And <laughs> hindsight, I don't think I could have changed my attitude without knowing what was coming. Um, so I, you know, I wasn't looking into the future but um these were honestly some of the last ot12 photo cards ever put out under blockberry so hopefully in the future we can see the girls under a different label and have them find success else how um but yeah i can't even believe i have this chew photo card because i never see her available for sale and if i do find her on a listing she's already sold so um there, i believe there's like other photo cards i've tried to collect kim lips um, it's just kind of hard to find, to be honest, um, all this stuff, except for the group photo cards, which I don't have yet, but I think Liz has some for me. I don't know, but it's okay because they seem to be in abundance online. So this was from the concert finale photo book. I actually didn't even buy this when it came out because I really was bitter that, um, they weren't releasing a photo book for the world tour they were just releasing a photo book for the soul date um so i didn't buy it but uh i did end up buying this set from uh someone online um because the cards are very pretty and i believe this was their show in the philippines or thailand taiwan i don't remember i'm sorry um, but it was like they did an appearance at a festival or something like that. And, um, these were the selfies from them. So I believe Cherry was injured or she was just, she was sitting out at the time. Um, I think with everything that was going on behind the scenes that we as fans didn't know yet. And then of course, Chu didn't go. So these are some, uh, extra cards that I have. Some of them do have homes that they're going to. Others, I need to find homes for them. Very precious cards regardless. Um, I just didn't want to um, put them in a box. So, 
Okay, so got through all of my game genic binders. All I have left is my gem loader binders. So um, these are collections that I've um, shown in the past quite a bit. I, um, I'm not flipping through this binder too much because I've looked at them so many times. Um, but these are some of my most, um, prized Luna cards to have. Um, not all of them are first press. Um, and I hope the glare isn't too bad. There's a lot of plastic layers going on, um, with the top loader, the sleeve, and then the sleeve of the top loader. So, um, <clears throat> These, I decided to start this binder with Hi Hi, and I kind of, I think I, I also have some other types of photo cards in here, um, but Plus Plus and XX are in here. Um, I just thought it was the prettiest style to be in the four pocket versus a nine pocket. Um, they don't have 12 pocket top loader binders. I think that would just be obscenely large because um, these binders are huge, y'all. Um, just to compensate for the size in the top loader. I don't know if y'all saw at the beginning of my video, the size uh, difference between my nine pocket top loader versus a uh, nine pocket regular style. So it's just a huge difference. Um, I actually don't have a shelf that I can put my nine pocket on. I just have it kind of sitting next to my bookshelf because it's just too big. But I know the girlies are safe. So um, I actually recently completed this set. Um, Cherry was kind of hard to find and so was Ginsel. So I have been searching for those for a while. Um, and I actually was lucky to unintentionally get all of these first press. Um, I think they did release these second press if I'm not mistaken, but somehow I never ended up with them. I think people weren't a big fan of the black and white style. It's not black and white, but it's just white on white. Um, I mean, they're wearing white shirts with a white background. People call them the the uh, McDonald's ID photos <laughs> because they're just very plain. Um, I think it was just to contrast what they were doing with favorite versus high high. And these are the outfits from favorite. So um, yeah, it's actually, it, I'm, it's so funny that we're, already jumping into the next version with only a couple page turns. Um, for my version B um, album cards, I don't have all first press. Some of these cards were very hard to find because they're just so cute. Um, this Heejin was very hard to find. I was actually gifted her um, from a friend that knew I needed her and he actually had a second one. Um, so she is second press. I am not pushing for a first press because um, some of these are just very uh, priced high and um, they're just so hard to find. So um, Kimlip is also not first press. She was actually one of the first Luna photo cards I ever pulled. And I adored this photo card so much. I had her sitting on my mirror for a long time, uh, for almost a whole year. And um, it's lucky that she's not that damaged. So uh, I just thought it was so beautiful and I wanted to display it. Um, Jinsel, I did pull from a Denal, so this was second press, and Vivi's also second press, but they're also pretty. Honestly, I don't see much difference in the quality. Um, Chu, uh, and then Olivia's second press, super cute card. It's a really cute card. I know she really didn't like that hairstyle, but girl, you look really cute. Don't worry about it. Eve is also first press. And go on. And then um, some of my like rarer cards that were in fours, I just found like the album cards to kind of flow better with the four pocket versus the nine pocket style. Um, the nine pocket, I have more solos and then um, rare cards. So um, I just thought this really looked pretty with the four. I, I thought it just looked beautiful. So um, these are some limited photo cards that I have. I um, traded her for her. So now I have Hustle and Hyunjin and then Jinsoul I pulled from a sealed limited uh, a couple of years ago. I was kind of crazy for that, but I just um, really wanted to get my hands on an Odd Eye Circle limited and I thought it was just an amazing opportunity. I don't think I'll ever splurge like that again because <clears throat> that was really crazy, but um, to be the only person that um, has handled this card besides the person that packaged the album is just uh, a really cool feeling. <laughs> so my Odd Eye Circle sets are all 
no, almost, these are, my max and match are first press, but this gentle, I do not have first press. That's okay with me though. The group cards first press, because I just had to have these in first press. Um, I just think these cards are so beautiful and I actually have, um, the posters to match. I think I've done, yeah, I did film a binder tour for my posters. Um, I have to update it in the future because um, I have gotten some new additions that I'm really uh, happy to have. And then of course the YY by Y just flowed again really well in my opinion. And um, so yeah, I think it just looks really pretty with the four uh, photo cards on each page for each version. I think it just looks really beautiful. So um, I'm okay with this layout. I kind of had it like checkerboarded a little bit, but I ended up just deciding to put the two, um, uh, I think this is, version A or B. Anyway, this is a version by itself, these two cards, and then these are a totally different uh, limited version for XX. And um, XX was my first collection goal that I really pushed hard for. Um, getting the group cards, the, the individual cards um, was quite the financial task. And um, I guess I'm glad I did it when I did because they're, they're even harder to find now, I think. Um, I know people are dropping collections and things like that, but um, to have all these photo cards in one place is really something. And um, I just was really in love with these photo cards. And I think the rarity of these albums just really made me obsessed to complete it. Um, so I just really searched long and hard. I connected with sellers that had some. Um, so sometimes I was buying in bulk <clears throat> and other times I was just splurging on eBay listings that would come up or trades. Um, sometimes I would have duplicates that I would need to trade off. I think, oh, I think it's inside. So yeah, I guess it's like kind of, um, part of my collection that I overlook because I've had it uh, in completion in my possession for the longest time when it comes to how long I've been collecting Luna. So yeah, I should definitely um, appreciate these cards more. I've definitely played with them a lot, like taken a lot of photos and things like that and handled them a lot. So some of them are um, in rougher condition than others, but that's just, uh, that's fine with me. So that uh, completes it for my four pocket. I have a couple extra pages in here, but I don't foresee myself filling those. And then um, this is my nine pocket. So I don't even know um, from where I'm sitting if this even fits in the whole frame for um, the video. But um, so I decided to switch my broadcasts um, into a binder that um, would basically keep them safe. I had all of these um, <clears throat> uh, mostly on my shelves in uh, one touch holders, which are like magnetic uh, plastic cases that are UV protectant. I was just getting a little bit paranoid and my shelves were also looking a little bit cluttered. So um, this is definitely uh, the um, the uh, <laughs> the down payment binder of mine, but um, a lot of these cards I don't think I'll ever part with. So um, I just had this decorated top loader. Kim looked like so cute in it. So she's just the centerpiece for it, but she's definitely not the rarest card on this page. Um, this two photo card was my first broadcast and she's just so adorable. I think, um, <clears throat> I think she's a little bit more common to find these days than when I was buying because people are dropping their collections, but that's just my observation. Um, fun fact, I actually damaged this go on photo card by putting her in a photo frame. I didn't realize that it was, um, pressing into it, but it's on the back side, so only I really notice it, but um, I feel so bad. I'm sorry, I hurt you, I'm sorry. This is um, my newest edition, this this Kim Lip broadcast. Um, so hard to find, basically because she's got a drink and it's Kim Lip. So 
This was a hard card to find also, but I found this one to be coming up even less. Um, these versions, I think version two and these are version one. So version one has square corners and they don't have any marking on the back. And um, so you really don't know um, if it's a fraud or not, unless you know it's from a reliable source and um, you just know what you're looking for. So that's the thing with a lot of these broadcasts that are older, a um, little tricky. The backing doesn't make them easily identifiable, but these do have um, certain writing on the back that helps you to find out if they are authentic or not, and the same with Chew. So if you're ever in the market for a broadcast, just be aware what you should be looking for to make sure you are buying a authentic uh, photo card because there are fakes out there, y'all. So um, these are my solo pages and I am just really in love with how I was able to lay these out. So some of the girls have two album versions like Kim Lip and Eve and um, so there are some photo cards um, from those albums, but I just went with uh, hollow stickers in these pages. So um, I'm really happy with how this lays out. I feel like it's just so cohesive. Uh, I really don't see a better way to put it um, for the foreseeable future. Um, I love that I have my attendance cards in the middle. Um, there is like one or two photo cards that are second press, um, but uh, my collection is mostly complete. I am not pushing to replace those second press yet, um, but I believe I only have one second press and it is an Olivia. So this Heejin photo card was really difficult to find. I don't know what it is. I think it's just the rarity of Heejin uh, first press albums to begin with because um, she was the first member. So it is the oldest photo card um, to have. So, wow, I guess that... I guess that's how it goes. Like these are the oldest Luna photo cards that I have, like historic. That's crazy. And um, then uh, I lost my train of thought. I'm so sorry. But um, so yeah, I guess these are my oldest photo cards. That's crazy. Next, we will go to the final solo. So this Olivia is second press. That's okay, girl. We'll we'll take care of you one day. Don't worry about it. Um, but she still look cute. So again, these are um, hollow sticker style. And then the second version album cards I have on a different page. Um, the goal is to have two attendance cards per member um, whenever that may come. Um, and that's to, to show you on the following pages. But this was a really difficult card to find. Liz actually helped me get this. And I think it's just because there was a boycott going on at the time of this album release for Cherry. Um, there were fans thinking that she was being uh, over sexualized at the time and that she was very young. So people were boycotting uh, purchasing and fan signs. So the first press Cherry cards are kind of hard to find. Um, and I can kind of understand why they would believe that. I mean, she is wearing fishnets. <laughs> so um, this is a beautiful card for Eve also. And these go on cards are very cute. Very happy to have this in first press. She is very difficult to find. I had I actually bought her in conjunction with some broadcasts from a seller uh, from overseas. So I actually bought her with this shoe. If that's correct. I think so. Yes. So these are the solo cards um, from like the duet albums and things like that. And the goal is to eventually have um, attendance cards for each one. So I guess the goal is to have more more than two attendance cards for some versions um, because like um, I'll need some whites and yellows, I guess, or some yellows for these greens. I guess this one would be green. So yellow, green, orange, orange, yeah, because Yojin had two, Yojin had an album with Heejin Hyunjin, and then Yojin had an album with Hustle. So, Hustle only had one album, like one, I guess. This was, a, this was from Yojin's album though, if I'm correct. This 
this was a very difficult card to find and she is second press and that is because of the teddy bear y'all be silly so happy to have these photo cards they are really hard to find and i actually have them in first press so i'm very happy to have this i did have to splurge on these the seller was asking for quite a bit of money but um i'm just so happy to have these beautiful photo cards with the balloons very pretty images these kim lips are first press um, but they don't have the solo uh the silver sticker on the back um simply because it was from a different version so um, eventually i'll just have a red attendance card here to match but yeah i guess i have to figure out what colors i actually need for these slots but I um, am not searching too hard. I kind of just, um, if something falls into my lap, I grab it up. But it, right now I'm just not hunting for things. Um, so I would probably have another Jinsoul attendance card here with these very pretty cards. Um, this card, oh, was it this one? These are both second press. But, um... This photo card I actually had on the way from a seller that went MIA for years now. Uh, I was supposed to have this first press, but I did not uh, get that. Very cool to have a second cherry attendance card. This is probably a harder attendance card to find. Very difficult. Thank you, Liz. Um, and then these are first press. A lot of these cards are first press. Um, sometimes I've just had to accept the fact that I'm not hunting too hard. Um, and the quality isn't too different. It does vary, but um, for my favorites, I do I have sought out the the first press. This is a beautiful photo card, by the way, with Go On and Olivia. I find it to be very beautiful. Now, um, some of these photo cards are not exactly rare, but they are valuable to me. Um, and I have found some of these cards difficult to find also. So, um, I know in some of my other binders, I do have like valuable cards, um, but, uh, I just kind of wanted to keep this, uh, binder for sets more so. So, um, these are my hollow cards. Very pretty. These honestly needed to be in the top loader straight away when I got them. Um, but it took me a couple years to get to that point, um, just cause they're so delicate and the, um, uh, the um the square corners make them very i don't know they're just so easily damaged like this eve is not in perfect condition she kind of has a few um birthmarks or i guess uh, scars you'd say this was a difficult card to find but just kind of landed in my lap and i ended up buying it and um this card i definitely paid a lot of money for i don't know if i regret it but goodness <clears throat> so these photo cards i um i i had uh traded some i had sold some i had bought some so this set has changed a couple of times but i kind of just liked um the nine and then of course here's the group card um this was a really hard card to find i'm glad i have it and also this one this one was actually more difficult to find because it's even chew and they're very um their their collectors are very hardcore. I find Eve collectors to be hardcore. So um, these cards just don't move that often. And then I love uh, Goan's outfit here and Olivia. So I had to have that duo card too. These are from um, one of the concert photo books. They were uh, random. I have mostly bought these um just because i'd only ordered two photo books so i um really didn't have a lot of cards to trade per se and i actually pulled uh, her or her anyway i don't normally collect jinsel but i pulled a jinsel photo card and i decided to keep her because it was just so cute these are Apple Music photo cards and this set became crazy hard to find and the cards ended up being super cute. So, oh my gosh, um, especially this Eve card. I am just so, I, I can't believe I finally have her. Um, I really was hunting for her for a long time. People were asking obscene amounts of money for this card and um, 
are, are I mean, I just came up unsuccessful so many times. Um, one of my friends actually was able to find a local store that was selling this in conjunction with a Luna album. You just had to buy the Luna album and it came for free. So this basically was the cost of a Luna album at a local K-pop store. Um, so I'm really lucky to um, have been thought of and um, that they did that for me. I'm so grateful. So can't believe it happened that way. Just really lucky. This Kim Lip card, I had her from the very beginning because the group order manager was doing a a uh, fan sign page for us and so I bought into a fan sign page and then we were guaranteed the card and so I just ended up to also getting her with my fan sign page. This is uh, the last of it. So um, some of these photo cards um, are new additions like this Kim Lip, the, the Eve, Go On, Jin Soul, Hustle, Vivi. Um, this is a really cute card. I usually um, don't keep BB cards I usually trade, um, no, no offense, but um, this card is just so cute. Um, I had to keep it, so love it, love it. Um, and actually, I also got this cherry recently, so I just put the, the matching set there because these are photo book cards from this set, but they don't fit, so yeah. These are some um, deco cards and um, de deco top loaders, I'm sorry. And then some rare cards that I have. So like this Kim Lip, I'm so happy I have her. Literally a beautiful card. Um, and she just looks stunning with her pink hair. And I thought this top loader that I had in um, my rummage box was just so fitting. And I decoed this myself. I know it's not beautiful, but um, I just thought her little face here was so cute. And it just needed some cute stickers to accompany it. I really love this cherry. Um, I love that she's doing her one contact in, one contact out look. Um, she's really embodying that odd eye circle. And these are um, were random cards from the photo book, if I'm not mistaken. Is that correct? Uh, it was like a pouch card. I didn't buy. I didn't buy the full set. So I didn't have one of these cards naturally pulled. I had to go out and buy these. Um, this is a really cute hustle card. I love her little space buns. Beautiful, beautiful card of Hyunjin. I think this is one of her most beautiful photo cards. Um, it's, just, it's just very scenic and I think she loved that photo herself too. This is my only um, Superstar Luna card and um, I feel like I got her for a good price. <clears throat> and. Me and Liz had a deco night and I decided to deco her and add, add in some butterflies with that, make her look real majestic. And same with this Hustle uh, photo card. So she's got like her little wig from Idolstein. <clears throat> I thought it's just so cute. Actually, this is a really sought after card. So I'm glad that I uh, joined a group order spot for her when I did. I could just tell it was gonna be a, a cute card. Sorry, I just want to center this. Okay. And that's about it. Um, I know I've been talking for quite a while, um, but I hope that you have enjoyed my little binder tours and Luna talks. Um, it's kind of difficult these days to be in orbit and a lot of people don't want to stick around for it, but um, I plan to, uh, to any extent that may mean, you know, even if I am not as invested in collecting in the future. Um, but I don't know, we'll see what the future holds for Luna and um, all our girls. So I hope they know we are thinking of them and that we want their dreams to come true uh, just as much. So whatever makes them happy at the end of the day, we will see. All right. Uh, thank you guys so much for sticking around. If you have stuck around this long, um, you are super awesome. And I hope that this has been enjoyable for you as it has been enjoyable for me going down memory lane and um, reliving all of that. So thank you so much. <clears throat> have a wonderful day.